His job was to protect the students and the school from harm. Well, he's now behind bars, charged with abandoning them when they needed him most. We're talking about Scott Peterson. He's the former school resource officer at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, arrested yesterday, and he's now facing 11 criminal charges, including child neglect and perjury after the massacre last year that left 17 students, students and staff dead and 17 others injured. Investigators say that Peterson failed to confront the gunman, never going inside the building where the shots were fired and it all went down, and then lied to investigators about it. Peterson has always said, though, that he acted properly, and here's what he told NBC just last year. The families need to know I didn't get it right, but it wasn't because of some, oh, I, I don't want to go into that building, oh, I don't want to face somebody in there. It wasn't like that at all. You weren't scared. No, there was no time. I, I, things went so fast. Those shots I heard, I was like immediately, I thought they were outside. I didn't know where they were coming from. He made his first court appearance this morning. He could spend the rest of his life behind bars if convicted. But what does this mean for the families of all of those killed? Joining me right now is Lori al Hadef. Her 14-year-old daughter Alyssa died that day at Parkland. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Kate. What was your reaction, Lori, when you heard that Peterson was arrested and charged? I was very happy that finally justice is served and that he is going to be held accountable for the death of 17 people. And it's not that the memory of that day is ever very far from your mind at all, but I can imagine that it is moments like, like that, like this, that bring it all flooding back. You know, on February 14th, when the shooting was happening, I texted Alyssa. I told Alyssa to hide, that help was on the way. And Peter was that, Peterson was that help. And he had a duty to go into that school and take down the threat. And he froze. He, Peterson um, has always defended himself. You heard you know, in that interview with NBC News, um, and in that same interview, he said last year that, that it will haunt him for the rest of his life. And his attorney, in responding to the charges, had said one of the things that he said was that there is only, there has only ever been one person to blame for those deaths, and that's Nicholas Cruz. Do you hear that? You know, that's, that's unacceptable. He had a duty to go in there. He was an armed police officer with a gun. He could have gone in there and taken down a threat and he could have saved lives. So he is at fault and he should be held accountable and suspend the rest of his life in jail. He's charged for his inaction, right? For not, not for what he did, but for what he failed to do. And as we're learning very quickly, criminal liability in that regard is quite unusual and, and, and rare. What if, Lori, after all of this, where you feel just, justice may be served, that he will be held accountable in your view in this moment, but what after all of this then he doesn't go to jail? Well, I think our justice system will prevail and that he will be held accountable and justice will happen and they will make sure that he serves the rest of his life in prison as he should be. Do you have anything that you've been wanting to say to Scott Peterson if you had had the chance? I would just tell him that I hope that the picture of my daughter haunts you for the rest of her, your life and that you spend a miserable life in jail and the 17 lives that were taken that day were because of your lack of failure to go in and engage the threat. We're showing some of the pictures that you shared with us um, of Alyssa. She's such a beautiful soul. Um, we cannot forget that. And also, that also reminds me seeing pictures of her again, that your entire life changed that day. And, but you have since really turned your grief into action. 
you ran, you now sit on the county school board, you formed an organization to try and make schools safer around the country, and you've had some success. I mean, New Jersey approved Alyssa's law this year, but still it has only been about 16 months. I mean, how are you? I'm okay. You know, for me, Alyssa lives with inside of me. I am doing this for Alyssa, making sure that schools are safe and having a voice for change and standing up and fighting for the 17 and for all the kids in America. Laurie, thank you so much for being here and thank you for bringing the memory um, that's still alive of your daughter and, and sharing that with us again today. Thank you so much.